Hi guys. Hi. Welcome Morning. to the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Vet live stream. Um, my name is Sim Guru Rad. Um, I am a producer on The Sims 4 for about two years, and I work on almost every pack for Sims for Cats and Dogs. I worked on the socialization. And you make like all the styled rooms for everything, right? Yep, styled rooms and styled looks. So Rebecca apparently has a lot of style. We'll see. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, my name is Sim Guru Emery. I have worked on The Sims for about four years. I Worked on pretty much every game pack and base game, and now I am the feature producer for the uh, vet clinic. I am Sim Guru Steph. Um, I've been on The Sims for quite a long time. I worked on Sims 3. I'm currently working on Sims 4 and leading uh, the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. Um, and I will be manning your questions today, so ask us away. <laughs> yep. All right, so let's get into it. Um, you, this is probably the first time that you guys have seen the Randleton Bay world map. It's really pretty. Our, our team has done an amazing job with this world. Yes. Um, we're not going to go over the world in detail on this stream. We're going to be covering mainly vet. I think next week is when we're going to be yeah. doing the world, world is stuff. going to be one week from now. Is that one the week. hashtag? One, one week. week from now. I don't know what kids do <laughs> these days. All right, let's begin. So, I'm going to head and load in. So while we're loading it, why don't we answer some questions. Um, right. When you're working as a vet, will the owner watch or will they give, or will they, will it be, be like giving birth on the doctor career where it's kind of more guided? So the owner will definitely come over and watch their pet being treated. They might even react if you treat them badly or not. Um, you guys are going to see that in a bit once we actually buy a clinic. So we've loaded in here. Here's my poorly made sim myself, and we've got it's not Rebecca. Poor. It's cute. And then we have <laughs> it has my our hair finally. Pets. We have Sammy, which is Rebecca's cat. Yep. And Cashew, which is my golden retriever. I don't actually have a golden retriever. It'd be awesome Aww. if I did. And Rebecca's hair is new hair to this pack, yes. right? It's mm -hmm. uh, Sims Four exclusive, uh, cats and dogs exclusive, and I know it's something that everybody's really excited about. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. So you might notice that the venue button down here is glowing. That's because we have to buy a vet clinic first. Mm -hmm. So the vet clinic works very similarly to restaurants um, from Dine Out, and that you buy the business and you can staff it with members from your household. Um, this time around, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this, the Brindleton Hospital. It's located in the uh, new world of Brindleton Bay. It's pretty pricey because it's a very high-end vet clinic. You can definitely get cheaper than this, but we're gonna go ahead and buy this. We, we want to treat our pets with the best that we can. Yes. Well, we'll see. Uh. I might not do this well. <laughs> <laughs> so, by me, you can not. play the vet the way you yes, want to. Yes, you can definitely yeah. play the vet the way you want to. No, oh, you didn't bring yourself here. I didn't bring myself here, but it's fine. Okay. Just, it's fine. Okay, it's okay. Fine. We'll make Rebecca run it today. <laughs> All right, so when we load into the venue, we're going to have to transfer some business funds over. Um, you can also go back and switch it back and forth using this panel down here. Um, we're going to start off with 10,000 simoleons. That seems plenty. Okay. Especially since we already have everything. We yeah, need. definitely. We spent, like, a lot of money <laughs> to get it in the first place. Um, let's take a look around first before we unpause the game. We've got this beautiful new vet clinic made by Environment Team. I'm trying to, like, figure out where the keys are on this keyboard now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we've got some awesome new wall decorations. Yep. Um, so, I know the dog up there is one of our engineer's dogs. Oh, um, yeah. Her name is Aiko, the pet. Oh. Is this Bo's dog? Yeah, it's Bo's dog. dog. Oh. Uh, Sim Guru Chibi. Chibi. Who's in chat. Oh. Uh, yes, she likes to chat with everyone, so. Um, <laughs> is this somebody's her. cat? I, I think it is, but I don't know whose. Hmm. So if someone knows that's on chat, you should let everyone know. We've also got... An awesome painting of a bunch of dogs playing a certain game. From Get Together, mm -hmm. it is called Do Not Wake, Don't Wake the Llama, Do yep. Not Wake the Llama. I'm trying to be real proper here. <laughs> <laughs> and of course we have our little succulent plants. Emery uh -huh. has one of those at his desk. I am infamous around the office for killing every <laughs> plant I touch. I have killed four succulents, which means I am less nurturing than a desert. <laughs> because those but are... But you're just over-watering them, I'm right? not... So I'm you're over-nurturing. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Do you only I ha have one at a time? Yeah, yeah they, it's it's in the little so um, Shiba them. Inu. Uh, um. People give me plants to... I don't know why, <laughs> but... Uh, we have a lot of faith <clears> in you. <throat> yeah, too much. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. We've got this awesome new aquarium. 
I saw a lot of people on Twitter um, commenting how nice it looked, and it does look really nice. We have no fishies in it, though. Well, you know, we just got this place. Okay, okay. If there are fishies left over, that'd be really weird. <laughs> it's under each of our exam rooms. Go and lower the walls. Um, we've got an exam table over here. You're going to see this in action real soon. We've got a much more pink exam room over here. Well, you know, we're really into these themed rooms. Mm -hmm. We have a surgery room over here. Ooh, ooh so mystic machine. We'll go over that later, too. And we've got a nice little office over here. Actually, that dog over there, um, it kind of looks like uh, Simguru George's uh, oh, Apollo. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's is designed it, after that, but the, it looks like him. So. Is Every this dog. why we made the pack? Yeah, yeah we, we just, just, wanted to make our pets. <laughs> we just yes. made the pack so we could put our pets into the game. And we've got our wonderful little oh. multiclair bathrooms here, men's and women's. And yeah. It makes everyone feel welcome. So let's go ahead and start. We can open up the clinic. One thing I want to do first is lock the door in my office so nobody else. <laughs> Everyone can get in here. but employees? Yes, that That's sounds great. Probably the right one. So right now I am the only employee. We don't have any we don't have any actual employees here. Is yes, that correct? not yet. But you can totally hire more employees. So we're gonna show you that UI real quick. This button over here on the venue panel lets you manage the employees you want to hire. So you can see right now I'm able to hire one additional vet. I have my choice of people to hire. You can see mm -hmm. their respective skills. You've got handiness, charisma, and the new vet skill. Can we go over a little bit like the skills and how that affects like their kind yeah, of sure. performance? So vet skill is the most important skill of the vet clinic. This is the one that you want the highest on your employees. Right. Um, and that affects how quickly they treat, how effectively they treat, and the ratings that customers will give them. Um, charisma is also really important, especially if your employee is going to be the one greeting the people in the waiting room. Mm. Um, this affects the bedside manner rating. And finally, handiness is useful whenever your machines break, um, whenever you need to upgrade stuff. But definitely go for the highest fed skill. Yeah. But we're going to try running this solo first. Well, I mean, we need more customers before it's worth hiring another vet, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to go to my office over here. Or Rebecca's going to go to my office over here. <laughs> and play video games because that's apparently what vets oh, do. But now there's a person. So yeah. Should... So what's our first thing that we should do when someone comes in? Well, first we watched them eerily through our godlike security camera as they approached <laughs> the brand new object. Um, this is the vet check-in podium. So you'll okay. notice that Katarina Lynx, right over here, and her poor pet who's this climbed the is, stairs, Doc. Doc. There's an irony about a cat named Doc getting sick. <laughs> Anyways. Um, she's going to go ahead and check in using our advanced touchscreen technology. Okay. Bloop. Oh, and the little star appears. That's how we know that yeah. she's checked in. Right? So we've got both a star and a card that appears above her. So what happens um, with customers when they check in, similar to um, Dinah's restaurants, mm -hmm. is they'll get a star rating above their head. By default, they'll start at three, and they can go all the way down to one and all the way up to five. Okay. Depending on what star rating that the customer leaves the vet clinic with, your star rating for your overall clinic uh, venue will go up. Okay. Well, assuming that you don't do a poor job and get a one. You're assuming I'm doing a poor job. <laughs> she might be right. <laughs> I might be right. I don't know. We'll see. So the green card um, had a little nice little picture frame of a dog in it. That's actually the ambiance card. So you'll notice that she said that, wow, this is a great looking vet clinic. Um, decorate your vet clinic well and people will like it better. Keep it clean and uh, make sure there's nice plants and decorations up. Yeah. You'll notice these cards throughout the vet gameplay. Um, these all are feedback buckets that kind of go into your vet rating to increase sure. or decrease your star amount. So she's cool. on ahead checked in. Okay, and so what's the help. first thing that we do? We should definitely greet this person. So by clicking on either Aww. the pet or so sad. the owner, you can greet the patient in a variety of different ways. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird stuff. <laughs> It's a pretty good meal, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably better than I could do. I mean, oh, <laughs> wasn't this a new thing? Is yeah. having both of these pop ups so you can tell. So, when your vet clinic gets mm -hmm. busier, you'll be able to tell what pet goes to what owner. Yeah, definitely. So, we noticed during playtesting, people were getting the pet and owner loss, especially when there are tons of people inside the waiting room. So, yeah. we've got some brand new hover tip tech. So, you can see that Doc is the patient or Katarina is the, the owner. owner. Okay. Yep. So, do you want to get. Invite the patient in or the the owner in. Either one works. Let's go with the um, Katarina. So I'm going to go ahead and greet the patient warmly. Okay. This is going to hopefully result in some good bedside manner. Hopefully I've got some charisma or Rebecca has some charisma. Uh, we'll see. 
Did you have something that you were going to add, Steph? No, but um, there is a lot of questions on when you own, whether you have to work there mm -hmm. or whether it can just be employees. Yeah, you can totally just hire employees to work for you, um, okay. but we also let you work as the vet. Cool. So you can perform all the regular duties, crafting, training. So you don't even surgery. have to have an employee. We can do this by ourselves. Yes. Okay, so either way works. So when you greet a patient, um, you'll get the owner telling him, you know, what's wrong with my pet? And Doc has been looking a little sickly lately. Can you examine him? Aww. Let's see. This. So you can also reject and say no, but we're not going to do that right well, now. <laughs> it's our first patient. It's we our really, only patient. <laughs> we really should uh, have these. So I got the good bedside matter card, which is awesome. You can see the vets here are great with pets. Let's go into this first. And this is where we get into really high tech, right? Yeah. So watch this cool animation. Mm. Don't have to make your sick pets jump or anything. Yeah. They'll just walk on. So we'll pause here really quick. And you'll notice a few things about the UI. Um, we've got this brand new UI up here that tells you all about um, the pet's stress level, as well as what you know about um, the patient. So top bar determines how stressed the pet is. This pet is not stressed at all, which is great. And the bottom bar tells you what you've discovered so far. As mm -hmm. this fills up, you'll discover new symptoms. So right now, we don't know anything about Doc. That's how Katarina is here. So how do we find out more? Well, we have to do exams. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of different exams, and each one does different things depending on what sickness the pet has. OK. Um, as we do more exams, we'll also figure out what treatment is the right treatment. So if you look at the treatment menu, everything's a question mark right now. Right. We don't actually know which one's right. Um, because this is the sins, we actually let you do whatever treatment you want. Uh -huh. um, you're going to see me try to do this a little bit probably later. <laughs> um, but oh. it's well, okay. camera's in the way. What? Probably a good idea what? to Camera actually. To the... Oh, you can't. Oh, see no. That. Oh, hold on. Okay, like, sorry. Whoa, whoa. We'll have to look at the nope. this one. Oh, our, sorry. Our yeah, faces yeah. were over this uh, UI. It's because we removed the post its to show you. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, All right, so, so show off this okay, UI. Okay, so you can blame Steve yeah. for that. We're going to go back, <laughs> rewind a little bit. <laughs> And, okay, yeah. so going back over this, the top bar is patient stress. This tells you how stressed out the animal is. The bottom bar is discovery. <laughs> um, this tells you what you've actually figured out from examining the patient. And you've mm -hmm. got a couple symptoms down here. Um, different sicknesses have different numbers of symptoms. You can go right. anywhere from like one through like six. There's a ton of them. Oh, wow. Um, I think there are at least 20 different sicknesses, if not more. Nice. So there's a That's, lot of I mean, content to play through. I mean, a lot to do. And... Um, as you treat pets, you'll actually level up in vet skill, but also in the real world, you'll actually probably get better at identifying what sicknesses the pets have, and you might not need to do as many exams, and oh, okay. might be able to guess the proper treatment. I, I'd like us to actually go all through right, the exam, all right, all right, you know. We'll do that. Let's, so let's go ahead and take, take Doc's step. temperature. Oh. Got this fancy new laser thermometer. Oh. Aww, cute kitty. So you can see we stressed the pet quite a bit with that, actually, Aww. and didn't get that much discovery. <laughs> So what do we do if the pet is stressed out? So we can actually calm the pet down if the pet's stressed out, but they're not that stressed yet, so let's keep so, going. Okay, okay. Well, we'll inspect their uh, skin or fur. Oh, okay, actually she's... You See? Don't listen to me. I, well, I know cats. I, that I'm, cat was upset. I'm not treating the pet here. This is you. Well, then why <laughs> don't you listen to me and calm the pet down? All right, we'll calm the pet down. What would Rebecca do? So calming the pet will decrease the stress after an amount of time. Okay. And part of being a good vet is balancing how quickly you can treat patients while also making sure that they don't stress out and, you know, cause a big scene. Stressing out the pet also causes the owner to not be as happy with you, um, which, you know, you don't want. Hopefully we haven't done that yet. All right. Emery, as you mentioned before, sicknesses are pretty random, right? Yeah. There's a lot of different sicknesses. Um, they can happen for a variety of reasons. Your pet will get sick every few days, but also if they eat bad food, that'll increase their chances of getting sick. So we're going to go ahead and examine their mouth. Oh, we found two things. Two. Rainbow poop. Oh, wow. And rapid heartbeat. So one of these is a little bit more unusual than the other. <laughs> um, let's go to treatments panel really quick. So you can see we've ruled out uh -huh. two treatments over here. And we've got... So we, we've ruled out half of our treatments right now. So if I was feeling lucky, I could uh, <laughs> I could guess. Am I feeling lucky? No, uh, not not with my sim. You can do it with your sim. Well, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit because that's what oh. it says over here. <laughs> you. I'm sure this is right. 
sure this is right. I'm not sure this is right. It's right. <gasps> no, this is not fair. <laughs> so you can see that cost me some money. Okay. But now I can go over to Katarina. And she's like, wow, that was an amazing trip. That guy knew what he was doing. <laughs> sure. So Emery, if you're starting the event in the beginning, mm -hmm. like, what would you say your pointers would be for players to make sure they'd be able to kind of learn from all these treatments? And so I've worked on the vet for a while, so I kind of know <laughs> what most of the treatments are. <laughs> but for the beginning player, I recommend examining the pet all the way through. And we're going to show you what that looks like. So we're going to head and greet this patient over here. This dog looks real sick, by the way. It's got a glowing red nose. Um. Looks like they've got, like, blue fur. Looking a bit sickly. No kidding. Just, just a little sick. Come with me, dog. And she paid us, right? Yep, no. she definitely paid us. So now we have a profit <laughs> of 100 simoleons, and which is great because I like getting <laughs> it's paid. It's going to cost money to run this vet clinic. It definitely is. Whoop. And right. how do payments work if people missed it? Um, so at the end of it, mm -hmm. at the end of the exam, and once the treatment has happened, your sim goes over to the the customer, the patient's mm -hmm. owner, and asks, you know, talks to them for money, right? Yep. Okay. So you can see we just did take temperature, and we found out that she's got glowing nose. I mean, that's pretty obvious. obvious. <laughs> you didn't need to tell me that. And this is kind of where you can see, like, you can gain like real life skill in identifying how good the vet is. Looks like you need to go to the bathroom, but because we don't want to distract from the vet, we're just gonna cheat this back up. <laughs> okay, so we've looked at the mouth now. Ooh, but, I see fur. Oh, but the pet's really stressed out. I think we need to. But I could also try to squeeze one more in. I don't think so. Okay, fine. It looked really sad. Did He's you see that sad. line? Let's go ahead and calm the pet. Oh, there we go. Plus, I mean, we want to have our bedside manner, you know, be yep. really. It's true, it's true. Okay. All right. Which exam do we do next? Check chart. Check chart. I like check chart because. Most of the time, it doesn't actually give your pet very much stress. That's true. Now, that's just my personal experience. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm just imagining things here. But it but... also didn't give me that much discovery. True. <laughs> so let's listen to this dog's oh, heart. Oh, look at it. You just want to take care of these pets. Okay. They look really sad when they're sick. I you know. I would Ooh. say, for me as a player, that's kind of the most rewarding thing mm -hmm. about being a vet is just being able to help cure the pets. But also you get paid. <laughs> Priorities. There you go. A little bit of both. This is a business, right? It is a business. Oh, look. All right. So, so we cool. actually were able to figure out the sickness this time. So this pet has Winterfest fever. That's kind of suiting, actually. <laughs> um, and now if we go to the treatments panel, you'll notice that everything's rolled out except for one, the fix-it-all treat. Nice. So we know this is correct. We can still give them the wrong thing in case you're feeling like a deviant player or... I don't know, just want to see Ooh. bad things happen, but we're not going to do that. And you may still need to calm the pet before you give them the treatment, right? Yeah, sometimes if they're too stressed out, they won't actually be able to take the treatment. Most of we got it. She's totally happy with her stuff. Okay. That was still an, amazing an amazing trip. Trip. And you can see the pet is immediately starts looking better. Yep, no longer blue, no longer glowing nose. And we got our money, and there's something else that's happening over there in the panel, right? Yeah, we're actually earning... Uh, let's go ahead and pause this. Perk points. Cool. So, what do these get us? Just like in restaurants, perk points can be used to buy a variety of upgrades for your business as well as temporary boosts. Okay. So some upgrade examples are buying additional vet slots so you can hire more employees. So I can okay. hire additional almost three employees here. Nice. You can also unlock the vet supply quality so you can um, adjust the ability to make your supplies cheaper or more expensive. Mm -hmm. um, vet Rush is a temporary bus which increases the number of patients who come to your clinic. Okay. So this is also a good time to probably hire some help because we're getting more people here. Right. Okay. Well, we were looking at them earlier, and we are noticing that Zapria has the best vet clinic school, yeah. right? And I think she's right behind me, which is weird. But <laughs> now we're going to hire her. <laughs> so Rebecca has hired a new vet, so she's going to come as soon as she can. Okay. Uh -huh. have this patient exit. And do we want to get this pet, include this pet in, or do we want to wait till Supriya gets here? Looks like Supriya already has arrived. Okay. It's got this fancy uniform. Hmm? 
Oh yeah, can can we set those here? Like we yeah. put in restaurants? You can definitely set those just like in restaurants. Okay. So using the settings panel, you can totally change which uniform your employees are wearing. Okay. Um, let's hire a few more employees first before we change give them, them a uniform. Yeah, I mean, right now you've also got me and Supriya who are both mm -hmm. female, so if we were to change something on the mail, we wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah. So. But, um, oh, what else is in this panel? Yeah, we've got a bunch of different settings. So you can turn price markup. You can make it higher or lower. Um, lower is obviously going to make customers feel like it's a better value. But higher is going to get gonna... you more money. Right. Um, advertising is really important because this influences how many um, patients appear at your venue. Okay. So we want a few more patients to get here. So let's... Uh, we're going to go platinum or gold? I'm all about that platinum. Okay. Let's do this. Platinum. All right. I mean, we hired another vet, so we should be able to handle it, right? Yeah. So it looks like Supriya is taking somebody in. Okay. The customer's got some good wait, wait time. time? Okay. So we'll show off like how the employees will treat pets here. As you can see, I don't have to do anything. In fact, because Rebecca is just playing games right now, okay. let's uh, let's craft some stuff. So you can craft well, a variety of things. I am playing game here too, right? No, Sims is real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So at the medicine crafting table, actually let's keep it zoomed out so you can see Supriya do her thing. Um, okay. You can craft a variety of things. You can craft things for the exam table to make pets more relaxed. Okay. Oh, that's nice. You can also craft stuff for the surgery station. So um, for the relaxed one, it's like when they're on the exam table, instead mm -hmm. of calming, you can use you, that instead. Yeah, the, yeah, it's an immediate one instead of um, over Taking time, some time right? and also prevents them from getting more stress from the next oh, exam. Okay. So nice. if you're trying to like fix your rating for a timing, that would mm -hmm. be a good one to yeah, use. Definitely. Or if you have a pet that comes in that's already like mm -hmm. super stressed out, you can get them calm and yeah. immediately without having to wait. So let's go okay. ahead and calm this uh, relaxation serum, or craft this relaxation serum. Stop, Stop playing, playing computer games. <laughs> And Katarina's back. Looks like she's back. Which, what pet does she have now? She has like four cats, I yeah, think, right? So oh, Cleo. Cleo. Yeah, little known fact, Katarina likes cats. And she has Just not, a lot of cats. Not very surprising. I know there's there's also one that has this really cool jacket, and I think that one's called Josie. Ooh. But we'll see if we... All right, so I'm crafting right now. She might wait a little bit too long, but we'll find out. Yeah. And then... Is there something else that you can do with these um, crafting station things? So you talked about the ones that we could use mm -hmm. for exams, but is there also something else there you can do? Yeah, there's actually, well, we have to finish crafting this well, one first. We'll finish this one. Looks like we got it. All right, I am just so excited. I wanna so I have a things. question from the chat. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of questions about whether you can go to the vet mm -hmm. if you don't own a vet. Yes. Yes. Um, we'll show you that later, but you totally can. If your pet gets sick and you don't own a vet, you can go ahead and get your vet treated at somebody else's vet. And NPCs will definitely treat you and get your pet all ship shape. It will cost <laughs> you money, um, just like in real life, to go to vet. Vet visits are not cheap. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we can craft a bunch of different treats on this crafting table. Okay. Um, Rebecca's low vet skill level right now, so she can only craft two things. In fact, these two things are what we call sickness treats. Mm -hmm. So feeding these to pets will actually make them sick. Um, why you'd want to do that, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, if your primary business is treating pets for money and you can make other pets sick, there's a little bit of there's some stuff there. Rebecca, what kind of place are you in? I know. <laughs> it's not me, no. No, Rebecca, how could you craft a swamp water you? taffy? Oh, you're making me feel bad here. I mean, you're the one doing it. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> sure, sure. Someone over there doesn't have the, the mouse and keyboard, of course. No. All right, so it looks like Supriya successfully treated this dog over here. We yes. got paid for her work. That's how employees work. Oh, and looks she's like she's greeting Katarina. Next one. And it looks like we've actually hit enough perk points to uh, hire another vet. Buy another vet slot. So we're gonna do that. So how are you nice. able to gain those perk points, just in case people missed? Yeah. So you you saw when uh, we finished treatment, we got amount of perk points. So right. as you finish treatments, you'll get more perk points. Mm -hmm. um, you also get them as you level the vet skill. Nice. And then how many levels of vet skill are there? There are 10 whole levels of vet skill. Cool. And at every level of vet skill, you can actually unlock additional interactions at the exam table, surgery machine, and you'll unlock more recipes at the crafting station. And you also get cool deco objects, like yeah. um, wall there's, decals. and. There's think, a mailbox. There's a really cute cat and dog mailbox yeah. that you can unlock as well. OK. So, back at that computer. Back at the I just like this computer so much. No, I'm just bored, I think. Um. I'm sorry, I'm not entertaining. 
<laughs> so we've got a new patient here, right. Sullivan Nardone. Okay. Perhaps related to Graham. <laughs> so do we want to treat another pet? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So while Supri is busy treating over here, we're going to go treat this dog. So once again, this dog is blue. Doesn't have a glowing nose this time. <laughs> okay, so... So we've used this uh, exam table. Mm -hmm. What what about that surgery station? When are we going to know to use that? So you can use the surgery station at any point during the exam process. It's actually a much more powerful version of the exam table. Okay. Um, you actually don't need a surgery machine to uh, run a vet clinic, but okay. we've got it here because we paid a lot. <laughs> um, but there are certain high-level and very rare sicknesses okay. that require the surgery station to fix. Okay. Um, and to get the pet to the surgery machine, you can either begin examining them there, or you can use this handy dandy interaction move to the move okay. to the surgery station. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, this pet's really stressed out. Um, the surgery machine is also high tech enough that actually you'll see. I'm not okay. gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. So you'll notice this uh, conveyor belt over here. It's gonna get used real soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually one of my favorite animations of this pack because the dog takes like, just forward. And it makes the best sound. It's very scary. Aww. So it does stress the pet out, um, but surgery is never not stressful. Um, at the surgery machine, you can okay. do a bunch of different scans to figure okay. out what's wrong with the pet. You can do various surgeries, obviously. You can also spay and neuter your pets here. We're not going to do that because it'd be kind of messed up to spay or neuter a pet of somebody who didn't ask you to do that. Oh. Um, so we're going to start with a brain scan. Okay. Beep boop. <laughs> Take your <laughs> Oh no. I see fur. Really you notice the pet got really stressed out. Um, the surgery machine is super high tech and actually keeps the pet in place, so you can keep doing stuff while they're stressed. Aww. It is not the most gentle way to run a vet. Okay. Um, but sometimes medicine isn't gentle. But there are a lot less things that you have to look at here. There's only yes. three exams. Oh, and I loved a little death at least. Yep. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish with a vascular scan. That's an SAT vocab word if there was one. Vascular. vascular. It means veiny, right? Um, Overly moist skin. So this pet's got icebox fever. The owner is not happy with how stressed her pet is, but you know, that's the price you pay. So if we go to surgery, similar to exams, you'll see that we've ruled out everything except for extracting excess cuteness surgery. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> and that sounds like, that, that sounds like a good uh -oh. thing, right? Looks oh. like we malfunction a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly get the pet back in there. Looks like the pet's a little <laughs> bit dizzy. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, what is happening? It's trouble times. <laughs> Oh no. Don't worry, we're gonna get rid of that excess cuteness. It looks like I got given oh. some love. Mm. So you'll notice that it's whenever so a pet has surgery done on them, much like in real life, they'll get a cone of shame. This is obviously. Cone of shame. Cone of shame. Cone of shame. Cone of shame. <laughs> and we're gonna get paid just the same. The surgeries are more expensive, okay. so this is not like the option that you wanna use all the time. But it's fun doing different surgeries, seeing the cool scans. I'm gonna go ahead and max out my motives because you are getting hungry and sleepy. <laughs> it's very hard to well, take put myself hey. in Rebecca's shoes. All right, so I got paid for that. Uh -oh. is back yet again. There, Josie. Um, one thing to notice here too is when oh, pets have the cone of shame on them, they walk real sad. I just feel really bad for all these pets, That's so maybe I'm not the right is. person to be running a vet clinic. You're helping them. Yeah. I know, but they just look so sad. Meanwhile, Supriya is still at work, you know, treating a bunch of different people. In fact, she's treating, uh, who is this? Brent? Or is that? Oh, is that Brent? Yeah, Brent. Oh, Brent. Oh. Brent. Pointing. Brent has a cat. <laughs> or has a dog. It's a dog. Her name's Rosie, I believe. You See, I remember all the pet names. <laughs> Rebecca never forgets. Never forgets. So it looks like Katarina's back. I'm actually going to start cleaning here because apparently the last patient, last patient left a mess. Oh, the cat came running up to us. Oh no. She really likes cats, by the way. Yeah. Oh, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right, so let's go ahead and, so we can see what happens if we greet patients badly. Let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> How could you do this, Rebecca? <laughs> Why are you doing this in my name? <laughs> That's you, I don't know what talking about. You don't want to be a bad vet clinic. So Josie's actually doing pretty well, but it's time for a checkup. 
So okay. sometimes patients find they're not actually sick. Oh, that looks... I, I mean, what did you do, Rebecca? <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. So we're actually at one and a half stars right now. Maybe we'll get to two. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to two. Not if we're... So uh... can you scroll over to the owner a little bit? It kind of had extra information, right? Yeah, so we greet her pretty quickly this time, so okay. she was really happy with how short those wait times But there were. was an unhappy card there with, like, the red border. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Oops. Um, the red border cards will actually determine... Uh, so you'll see the last feedback every time something happens. Okay, so... So because the wait time came up, you aren't able to see the last one anymore. What are you doing? I think you wanted to play with the computer again. I know, but get back over here. Okay, let's... So if your sim does somehow break out of the exam table, you can easily get them back on. Okay. So oh, that's good. Oh, oh that's a lot. Hi. Let's let's do a let's do our due diligence here. It's just a checkup, right? It is just a checkup, but okay. sometimes you got to be real thorough. Okay. Thorough <laughs> checkup. A very thorough checkup. So oh, normal temperature, right. healthy cuteness levels. This is a healthy cute cat. Cute. <laughs> healthy cuteness levels, because the other option is too much cuteness, and we have to fix that. that. That's what we were just fixing uh, in the surgery station. Yeah, had way too much cuteness. <laughs> That's a dangerous thing to have in oh, animal. Responsive ears, clean nose. This looks like it's doing real well. Pretty healthy. I mean, she's not happy with how we greeted her, but you know. Still angry about that. I mean. And the be? stress levels? Is that what that one is? Yeah, let's find out. You oh. Standard smelly breath. So it's that's completely perfectly healthy. healthy. So what you can do if you find out they're perfectly healthy is do a preventive shot. Okay. And that one actually stops you from doing the wrong ones. Yes. <gasps> there. There you go, cat. Oh, heartbreak. She's still kind of sad because we greeted her badly. And we're going to use that owner's name again? Uh, Katarina Lynx. And in what world does she live in? She lives in Brindleton Bay. There you go. <laughs> She's one of the pre-made households. Um, she owns four cats, so we've seen her back pretty often. We've seen her. Th we've seen three of the four already so right. far. It looks like we're actually filling up here, so we might need to hire yet another vet. Who should we hire? Um, none of these people have vet skill. Well, this guy has a suit, so I'm inclined to think that maybe he's qualified. Or or Zoe has good charisma. That's the other option. Let's pick based on hair. This pick guy, based on hair? This guy's got hair. Sure. Well, he has lots of hair. hair. Um, so we only, have, we only have two exam tables, so I think it's time to actually go into build mode. <clears throat> and uh, get another one set up so our vets aren't all crowded in the same place. Um, this lot was made by our environment team. Backyard, at least. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> outdoor. All natural. <laughs> While we're at it, can we show what the full lot looks like from the outside? Yeah. Well, let's put two tables there. Oh, we're running out of money. We might have to transfer some more. Oh. Oh. We could turn it to daytime if you want to see it it's in true. the light. There we go. That looks real nice. Yeah. So environment did a great job building out these vet clinics. Um, and we've got these uh, new little shrubberies. Yeah. Oh, we can also show off some other stuff that we've got in this pack yeah. while we're here. So... We want to show off. If you... You want to show off the signs? We can show off signs. Actually, yeah, if you want to show off signs, that works. You should be able to go into... Let's go ahead and sort by pack. We'll just do the easy way. Yeah. Um, and all? Yeah. Or show all, that works too. So we've got a bunch of new build by objects. We have these really mm -hmm. cute decals. Decals are decals. adorable. Lorp. <laughs> Lorp. I'm a great builder, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so we've got some fun new signs. If you guys remember... Um, from EP... Uh, no, sorry. Uh, from Dino? So you can actually put different decals on these signs oh, to customize I didn't know it. those could go on the signs, actually. Well, I just thought it was the, the See, discovering decals. discovering things every oh, day. Yeah. Doing it live, kids. All right, so... Does the big one go on there? Uh, uh, well, it won't now, but... Well, not now, but it might go on. Oh, yeah, it does. That's, See, that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. All right, so we can also put other decals on there. I know we've also, I've, we made a few pre-made ones this for a, you. This is a terrible thing to put on a vet sign. <laughs> oh. But we can do like well, hospital like here. Yep. Some dogs yeah. like hamburgers. And then we can put like some words next to it. And that looks like this clinic's name with the. Yep, and you can move the whole sign around. Um, it's double-sided, so you can actually put stuff on the other side. So you know, the deep dark <laughs> secret <laughs> is that this is a burger place. Oh no. Yep, with a. Uh, I'll put this in candor. It's cool, too. Hospital. What <laughs> else do we have? best clinic. Um, we've got a ton of cool, like, I guess we could just drag stuff out into the backyard. <laughs> just whatever you want. Yeah. So, we've got some new chairs. Yeah. I think... 
We, we've got a whole set of these uh, covered chairs also. This one could use more pillows, apparently. <laughs> I got a Always request to show the aquarium recolors. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, uh, Here we go. so I'm trying down. to navigate this uh, keyboard with a weird layout. <laughs> It's right. just because you like the noisy keyboards. I do. Yeah, okay, yeah, last time I did a stream, people got mad at me for my keyboard. <laughs> but you were answering questions, right? That's true. Steph's keyboard is much quieter this time. So we've got standard Quieter's black. White. Kind of cream. Yeah, we've got brown. some various colors of wood. Cool. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, what else? Let's see. Got a whole bunch of... I've actually got this cool little uh, robot vacuum. Yeah, I think they'll show that off more. But... You can't put that outside, though. Oh, I can't put that outside. No. But uh, this robot vacuum can actually clean stuff up for you, and I think cats can actually ride on it, too. Yes. Very rare. They, they will... I think Antonio and Jam oh, will... They'll uh, probably show that off more. Show that off next so, week. So, one more week. One more week. One week. <laughs> um, we've got these cool pet beds. They're circular or they're square. Sure. Actually, something right below that is a brand new object for this pack. Yeah. And this, this is, is a like, bay window yeah, seat. Yeah, we've got those fancy bay windows from, I think, base game, as well as this pack has some. And then you can put this right under there and have a really nice, cozy seat. It's really called Queen Bay Window. Yeah, money. Queen Bay money. Window. <laughs> okay, I'm out of money, so I, I need didn't more name money. that one. <laughs> um, um, from the household. Getting money is super easy. Obviously, we were rich beforehand. <laughs> So you just transfer from your household. Right? Yep. Yeah. So you'll notice that now I've got more money here, but if I go back here, my household has less money. Yeah. Well, anything That's to like, make this vet clinic like better. Life. It's just like real life. Got this awesome super high vet mm -hmm. sofa over here. That one's really pretty. And it's got a little like stool that kind of goes with Emery, it. Emery, can we yeah. screw over beds real quick? Beds? No. Sure. No. 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 More beds? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Okay. We don't want to spoil <laughs> things. We don't know what we're allowed to share. <laughs> We're spoiling too much. Spoiling too much. Oh, and then there's so there's two of these like craft stations. What's the mm -hmm. what's the difference here? Yeah, so we've got two different craft stations. In fact, we've got two different versions of most objects. Um, you can actually go in the vet clinic items, and it should show those yeah. specifically. So we can also we'll show off the uh, the cheaper version. So in case you can't afford the top end stuff, you can get the budget version. Um, <laughs> This is Dr. Budget Bandage's exam table. And it's had some uh, duct tape there. <laughs> it does the same thing. You know, it's 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 done some hard work. Yeah, it's seen some use. And same with this medicine station over here. Like, maybe a couple explosions happened. The burner appears to be a little bit off. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got cheaper versions of stuff for people who can't afford top of line stuff. And as you okay. can see, you make money through the vet. So you can start with the cheap stuff and upgrade later to more expensive yeah. stuff. It's, it's good storytelling mm -hmm. here. You know, I've worked my way up from this really mm -hmm. low end vet to this really nice high end. Yeah. Um, We've also got these decals that are currently unlocked or currently locked. Okay. You can actually unlock them by getting to higher levels of the vet I skill. I got one of those. Hmm. These are actually super cute because yeah. you can put them pretty close to each other. So you can make almost like a comic strip on the wall. Yeah, actually, if you go into like go to pets. No, oh, it's and then do this. Mis yeah, you're in the miscellaneous. Like, oh. um, so we tried to put everything that was pet themed into this miscellaneous mm -hmm. category of pets, so that you can at least easily find it. So you've got oh, those tree. decos here, and you can like grab the cat and the little mouse and put those next to each other. Oh, I probably. I think that's here. one of my favorites. Oh, uh, why don't you do F five? It'll let you place it a little closer together. Oh no, but see, I can have it down here. <laughs> sure. A little. Food. Oh, okay. yeah. um, we've got this diagram you might have seen newspaper. hanging up somewhere. Newspaper. Yeah. So <laughs> this is, you know. You know, when you're trying to like potty train, whatever. Yeah, put this here. You know. It actually has some variants that are um, oh, kind does. of interesting. Yeah. I guess I could just do it over here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is good stuff. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Or you can leave it like it is and it looks nice and pristine. Got some chewy snackles. Snackles? I think that what it says? Some crunchy, crunchy bits, bits and chewy snackles. <laughs> okay. Um, the succulents, which I will inevitably kill, so I'm not going to put those there. Um, yeah. I really like these new curtains because you can uh, place them on each side and you can have like the, the uh, grouped version on one side and then have the... Um, straight version on the other. If you I don't want. know. I could do this and make this terrible looking vet clinic. That's actually kind of cute. I don't know if I trust a place with like pink curtains hung up like that. <laughs> Just 
<laughs> me, you know. Okay, Emery right. does not trust people based on how their curtains are placed and what color they are. We do have a pink exam table. So we do have a pink, pink exam curtains. table. It's very pink. Very uh, pink. There is a question about um, the vending machine. Yeah. Okay. We so. might need to craft a little bit more s treats before that. We've got some stuff. You made like one thing. And then also we can, can we ask our employees to make those treats? Yeah. So we don't have to spend our time doing that? Definitely. So the vet vending machine is a brand new object. Oh, this is the cheap Wait, one. I was right? like, do you want the cheap one or no, the, we'll, the we'll nice one? We'll get the good one. We're, right. you know, we won't spare expenses for this. Also, we, we got a lot of simoleons. Um, so the things that you can craft here, you can actually sell this vet vending machine and customers okay. will spawn in to actually buy stuff from you. So it's just another way that you can make money at the vet. Okay. Um, and it's pretty fun seeing this thing get stocked up. Uh, I can show you that real quick. Okay. So, did you make something? I think we made... Ooh, we made a little treat here. So, what you can do is just open, open this up. Drag it in. Drag it over. Really easy. And now anybody can buy swamp water taffy. Um, I would not recommend actually <laughs> eating it. Um, you cannot sell the... Uh, serums. The serums and the okay. vet enhancers because those are meant for you to actually do stuff with. Okay. But you can definitely stock this full of things. So, Can like, if just... I wanted Supriya to actually help me make stuff, I could go to here, Okay. ask her to craft, and she's got some high vet skills, so she can actually craft a bunch of different things. Okay. But it looks like she's in the middle of treating a patient, so I'm not going to do that just yet. Well, we just, before we get, went into build mode, we just mm -hmm. hired another person, so we can make them do that as soon as they get here, maybe. Yeah. You know. So, are we done with build mode? Should we go back to the vet? Yeah, I think so. Is anything else you guys wanted to see? That we're allowed to show. <laughs> yeah. If not, wait I till next week. And uh, <laughs> I know one more, week, one more week, but one more week, you will get to see a lot more of the world. So this guy is not happy time. with this puddle over here. Alrighty, oh, wow. did we hire a new person? I think we, we did, did, right? Yeah, we did with the hair. With the hair. <laughs> the hair. The hair. Right, Steve? Hmm. Like Henry. Oh, we needed to pick the person with the best hair. That's true. And oh, that there we did. he is. Let's, so let's go look at that hair real quick. That's some good <laughs> think, hair. Isn't that just, it's Worst just some basic choice. hair, but. Um, He's got some weird loony walk style. I know. Oh man, what happened to this? Oh, oh that's such little. a cute little jacket. Oreo. Oreo. I'm hungry now. <laughs> My uh, best friend in high, uh, middle school, high school, she mm -hmm. had a cat named Oreo. Oh, that's cute. Was it black and, and white? I think so. It might have been gray, but I think it was black and white. And then actually, my uh, brother-in-law has a snake named Oreo. Yeah. Black and white? It's black, black and white, white. <laughs> yeah. I sense a trend here. <laughs> hey. Two questions. Uh -huh. One, are there pre-made rooms for the vet clinic if you're not a good builder? And two, can you put snacks and sodas in the vending machines as well? So you can only put treats into the vet vending machine. Um, there are no pre-built rooms no. with exam tables and surgery machines. But there, there's this this one which is already on a lot, mm -hmm. and then we have one lot bin, mm -hmm. which is the when you go into the gallery and you go to yours. There's a whole bunch of um, lots made by Maxis, mm -hmm. and that's pre-seated in your your gallery. And I know there's at least one vet clinic there. Yes. So, and that one's a little less. Fancy. Opulent. Yeah. <laughs> um, Emery's using the fancy words here. Opulent. Opulent. And I use fancy. One other thing, they'd like to mm -hmm. see going to a vet from the customer point of view. Okay. Sure. We can definitely do that. Um, after we finish playing as the vet, I guess. Well. Is well, there? What else do we want to show off? Yeah. Here? Is there anything else that we want to show off here? We've got the vending machine stocked. We got. Uh, we showed off the surgery station mm -hmm. a little. And uh, I think get people talking over here. I think we've shown off most of this. Yeah, we can definitely show what it looks like to go from the customer's point of view. Okay. So let's go ahead and close the clinic, actually. Um, you can also see, if you hover over here, what you've done well in. Okay. As well as, you know, what you <laughs> need to work on, which is apparently a couple of things. <laughs> Value of service. Yeah. Mm, I wonder why. So, in order to close the vet clinic, it's pretty simple. It's just like any other business. Okay. You can go ahead and just close it. Close. This thing will pop up, tell you how you did that day. So, I owe $100 in wages. It's not bad. Paid some advertising, but I made you know, pretty we good We still made money. pretty good money, yeah. Yep. And you can see the... Khalil actually oh. uh, leveled up his vet oh, skill, which nice. is awesome. So, that means see next time he comes hair. back. The hair. <laughs> yep. 
And you know, we started the day off at uh, one star, that's and we ended up at two. That's pretty good. It's all in a day. You Luke. know, so if that's what it takes. When you close off it. the vet clinic, everybody will leave because you know we're closed for business now. <laughs> what, are Bye. what are you guys gonna do? He's probably gonna finish up his examination. Okay. It's called the hospital. I just saw that. Oh yeah, Brindleton Hospital. It yes. is. It's a really good name, right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, let's go ahead and uh, send you home. Stop okay. playing the computer, Rebecca. <laughs> you know, I have been playing the computer since I was about two years old. So wow. I am a I am a really big geek here. Um, I think I played a Snoopy game or something on the computer when I was like young. My parents are uh, big computer nerds, so I got I get that from them. Mm. Um, there's this nice picture of me as a toddler playing on the computer. I think I shared that when Toddlers came out. <laughs> All right, so we're back. Oh, Looks like you just got back from work. It. My dog is dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh, what has your dog done? Uh, probably rolled around in the dirt. Okay, so, so how, how can we show this off? So we can use some fancy cheats really quick. To, Which, uh, we'll just use some hand wavy magic yep, here. Yep. Everybody do some kind of <laughs> dance right now. <laughs> Not, uh, no dancing. No dancing? I, you know, we're just distracting right. the... Do you want to grab a question from Twitter, Rebecca? What do we have? Ooh, actually. Uh, what have we answered? I'm trying to remember, figure out yeah. what we've answered and what we well, haven't. You can, can re-answer because someone hasn't been in. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so That's we have Z Hearst Luna has asked whether the items that you get will be unlocked by the vet skill or we'll just get them. So the clinic items can just be purchased mm -hmm. immediately. Yeah. But you will get some uh, decorative objects. You'll get more decorations as you level up in vet skill and... As you get higher level, you un also unlock more interactions at each of the vet objects. Right. So, for example, when you get higher level, you can unlock a new scan or surgery okay. or exam. And there's also another treat that can be made. It's um, I know there was another question. It was, you know, are there any treats mm -hmm. um, to take care of your pet, or will we always have to go to the vet? And so there's one that's a wellness there's treat, There's a right? wellness treat, which will, you know, help your pet get more healthy. There's also these really cool treats. Um, there's an age up and age down treat. If you oh. feed them to your pet, you can actually cause them to age up or age down. So if you want a puppy again, you just... That's one way to do it. Um, and then we also have Always the more time. very expensive to make ambrosia treat, which can bring a dead pet back to life. Wow. That's... Cool. That's nice. Um, Penny Owen also asks how many employees can you have as a vet clinic? It's one to three, right? Yes. But that doesn't include anyone in your own household. Yes. So you can have anyone in your own household no matter mm -hmm. how many employee slots you have. Yeah, so while we were playing the vet, I could have brought you know myself there to help you out at the vet. Could you bring your own Could pets? have. Could you bring your own pets there while you're working? You can bring your own pets to the vet. Um, the employees won't treat your own pets. That's up to you. Mm -hmm. But you can use any of the equipment at the vet to treat your pet. Um, you can also use your own equipment at home to treat the vet, uh, to treat your pet. So I've made my poor dog Cashew here sick with uh, some kind of icy, snowy fur disease. Um, we're gonna go ahead and search for that exam table. I've got the budget ready. We're poor now. You know. All the money went into business. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna actually treat them here because we want to show you what it's like going to the vet. But right. I could start yeah. examining right here. Okay, and it, it just will choose whoever, um, whoever's actually sick. Yes. Okay. Well, if you do begin examining, I believe it pick, brings up a little picker and you can pick who, which sim you okay. want to actually pick. But um, when your pet gets sick, they start behaving more oddly. They might turn blue. Um, <laughs> but you can also... Um, no, they're sleeping. They're sleeping. Mm. Let's wake up this pet. You're so mean. See, you're playing the computer, too. It's not just me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, you know... Is it your traits? Maybe. Yeah, I think we're we both, both geeks. Oh. <laughs> go ahead, wake up. This okay. And so, so there's this... a couple things you can do. If the pet's sick, this option will show up. You can take them to the vet clinic here. Okay. You can also actually ask your pet what's wrong. I think it's in more choices than friendly, or is it pet care? Is it friendly or pet care? I think we, we might have moved it to pet care. <laughs> what's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong? And so this... if you notice your pet behaving oddly, come back, Cashew. <laughs> Yo, no, Cashew, where are you going? Cashew is playing with me because obviously I'm the better sim. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, oh like, some needs. Yeah, I know. So it looks like they're actually kind of sick. So let's go ahead and take them to the vet clinic. 
There you go. And yep. this little TNS will pop up. Cashew is sick. Probably should take him to the vet. Which is wow. almost the exact same words that Emery just said. It's almost like I wrote that text. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, right and there was there was a question about so there were there were two questions about vet clinic items and your mm -hmm. home lot. So can you run a vet clinic from your home lot? Um, you can not run an actual vet clinic from your home lot. You can obviously put a bunch of vet stuff at your home, but you're mm -hmm. not going to get customers spawning in. Right. If you actually want to get customers coming in and employees to hire you got to go to a vet clinic. And once it's a residential lot, you can't change it to a venue, which is very consistent with every other venue yeah. that we have. If somebody's living there, you have to kick them out before you can actually change venue types. Okay. Um, and that's the, true of every venue. And, and similar is uh, the um, the vending machine. That mm -hmm. one is also can only be used at a vet <clears throat> clinic. So you can place it at home and store your treats and stuff in it at home, but nobody will come in and actually buy stuff. Okay, unless it's a vet clinic. Yep. Okay, now uh, we want to take them to a vet clinic. So we, look, we, we item, own this icon. one over here. Um, <laughs> So let's not go to our own because it's kind of seedy business practices. There's this, like, <laughs> there's this girl named Rebecca there, and she like really so like. Wow. Mm. The dude with the hair, though. Yeah. The dude with the hair. But, you know, He's good. We're gonna go here to the country clinic. Okay. This is a vet clinic that we placed from the lot bin. And um, the and the, that icon, there's a the pause, so it'll be really easy to mm -hmm. see what new vet clinics are around. I believe. Right now, they're only in Brindle. The one is only in Brindleton Bay. Yes, uh, Brindleton Bay will start with one, and you can place another from this the gallery one. or more. So this one actually looks clinic. pretty fancy. This is also. nicer than ours. <laughs> okay, so right, so let's take a look around. I'm kind of suspect of the employee right now. <laughs> no. But uh, you said the other one was shady. <laughs> look at this. Aw, oh, it nice looks looking. real cute though. You can see inside. Hey, sometimes you can find treasures in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, they have a cat calendar. Aww, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> and that's a really well-stocked vending yeah. machine. So what does it look like if we want to go buy something? Yeah, we can do that. Let's go ahead and purchase some pet items. Man, I run real fast. Well, so, so you can buy oh, anything. These are the, the poop randomizer. <laughs> oh, no. What is that? <laughs> We can show this oh, off there's later. there's the age up. <laughs> yep, so there's the age up and age down treats. There's the very expensive ambrosia pet treat. Okay. Um, these treats over here all, That's so cool. all do <laughs> terrible things to your pet. <laughs> and this is what you want if you actually want to make your pet not that sick. So, so the wellness treat will make it so that you don't necessarily have to go mm -hmm. into the vet. You'll just want to go to a vet, grab one of those, and it'll be much cheaper than a real than having to actually take your pet to the vet. Yes. Okay. Um, it might not cure most a lot all sicknesses. It's still, okay. It's kind of low. Um, I like this poop randomizer. I'm gonna buy four of them. Do we wanna maybe? Do you wanna do the age up, age down, or Let's don't worry about those? Two. I mean, I'm we could just do here. age down because that's the cute one. But. It's true. All right. Bought some stuff. Looks okay. like there's another patient here. My, so, I kind of left my. Cashew behind, but oh, poor Cashew. Cashew's okay. coming. So the first thing that you want to do when you go into a vet clinic is go to this check-in podium. Check -in podium. Okay. Actually, while we're here, cool thing that people might not notice is that this check-in podium That's actually funny. has a fun little slot on it. So you can actually put different things. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So we're just going to do this. We're going to get rid of it later because this is somebody else's clinic. <laughs> I'm learning all these cool new things today. You know, I should know stream. this stuff. I spend yeah, I most of my time. This in whole Dubai. stream was actually meant to make uh, Rebecca <laughs> look like she doesn't know what she's doing. Um, where do we find those decals? I mean, I, I made all I the signs. I made a bunch of new signs. Different expertise. Um, hamburger. hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the hamburger. Um, so yeah, you can decorate as much as you want. It's really cool because you can you know switch the color of the base machine and then. Uh, oh, that, most that of the decals, decals are just the okay. one color. Well, um, I mean, like there are a few over here that. Uh, oh yeah, these are multicolored. Yeah, this those are multicolored. And then I can like get a pink to match it. I think there's a pink one. See, yeah. you love pink, Emery. I don't know where you're talking about. <laughs> Actually, when I was little, I had a pink pillow. That was my favorite there you pillow. Go. In the world. See, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. we're gonna get rid of this now because you know this is somebody else's place. Yeah. But. Okay. That was cool. So this orange glowing. It tells you what check to do. Stand. Do you wanna? Sign in for cashew. Sickness or neuter? Hmm. Mm, Let's just go for gotta sickness. Cure the sickness. sickness. Cure the sickness. Hey, oh Somebody man, we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be waiting here a while. But luckily, we've got so this people. awesome phone, which lets me check in 
through it. Oh my god. It's in an app system. <laughs> um, so once you check in, you'll actually get a new UI up here. Oh, that's cool. And it tells me what to do. So I've got to wait for the vet, and then you got to get your pet examined and receive treatment. Just like any other real life vet clinic, waiting is a large part of what you do there. So that's true for a lot of things. We're yeah, at the. Maybe you want to go fill that pet bowl? Oh, yeah, I guess I could feed other pets here. I don't know, those pets. I, I mean, one of them's our pet, so we might as well feed it. Samurai, the only way to buy a treat is to go to a vet in, from a vending machine. Yes. Um, or you can craft it yourself. If you, yeah, you can buy the craft station and put it in your home lot and mm -hmm. do all of that. You'll just need to um, level up your vet skill mm -hmm. before you can tra craft all of those treats. Mm -hmm. Is that guy here before me? Yeah, he was. He's the. He's the one that was already at the check-in stand. Oh, I see. How about you people? So, there's a lot of waiting involved in actually getting your pet treated. We're just going to speed through this real quick. Wow. Treat my dog. Cashew's so sick. Oh, there. So, uh, oh. that's gone through. Oh, we're no longer waiting for a vet. Yep. Nice. And then we'll f we'll just automatically follow them into yep, the exam. Yep, I didn't do anything. Right? No hands on the keyboard. <laughs> no hands. This looks like this almost looks like a pediatric clinic. This yeah, this looks like a little too cutesy. It's kind of cute. Yeah. She's really well decorated. It might be nicer than ours. AI. Mm -hmm. So just like when we were treating and examining uh, pets, the NPCs will do the same thing. So he's examining the map over there, and he found out that he's got slurry fur. Ooh. That doesn't sound good. So, just like in real life, the vet is quite pricey. You get three options. Um, you can do a basic treatment, which puts the cone of shame on their head. Um, you can do expensive one, which will just you know cure them with the best modern medicine available. Okay. Or you can say, no, I can't afford any of this. Well, what do you think about your pet? It's it's you now. You and have a lot friend. of money. I, I have think, a lot I of think money. You can handle it. How much do you care about your pet? I want to see the cone of shame. Oh. <laughs> Bloop. Okay, and now the uh, UI is all gone, yep. and... And now he's no longer sick, but still very oh, dirty. <gasps> he looks so happy. We, happy. we really should... But now he's going to shed. Now he's going to have oh, the sad no. walk. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how visiting the vet as a player looks like. Okay. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Now... So we've kind of seen the sicknesses that mm -hmm. come with the vet, you know, both through our own pet and what they've come to. Are there kind of some fun There are a lot of really fun us? sicknesses. Let's actually go home to show those off. Okay. Oh, there's a skunk. Oh, I smell a skunk somewhere. <laughs> so well, do you know really how long fast. the cone of shame lasts? The yeah, kind of shame it's a very last. long distance. It'll this is kind of our, our town. You'll wow. see it more later. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, so fancy. Wow, this is wow, a preview. Wow, preview. Whoa. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, everybody. Close Just hey, kidding. Hey, we said there was there would be a mini preview, we're, but we're going to be focusing preview. on the vet. Yep. So let's go ahead and go home. I like and, your dog. It's such a good dog. Well behaved. <laughs> Every dog is a good dog. They're all good boys. <laughs> They're not all boys, though. Well, you get notifications okay, um, if your pet is sick. Like, how do you know your pet is sick? Um, so you might notice your pet behaving a little bit oddly, or they might turn blue. Um, and uh, once again, once you click them, you'll see that interaction. Okay. Yeah, there's um, also the, um, if you click on them, there's a whole section called Pet, pet care, care. And there is a What's Wrong, and that'll deal with all sicknesses mm -hmm. or any of their needs, which is like food and socialization. Any of those will pop up as a TNS if you're not sure what's wrong mm -hmm. with your pet. Uh, that was a question from Twitter for Amalia MSP. <laughs> so you can see that we've got the cone on here. It's too soon to remove this, but after a few sim hours, it'll be time for you to get it off. And okay. the pet will also shake it off at some point if they get tired of wearing it and you haven't taken it off for them yet. Okay, so that'll just happen at some point. Yep. Okay. So, so let's talk about stuff. fun sicknesses. Um, we're going to head and make this pet sick again. I'm sorry, okay. Cashew. Cool. Mm. Oh. So what else do we have? Some hacking involved. Oops. Oops. Loop, loop. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I think I made Cashew sick. Okay. And what happened? He's got with a. The cone? Yeah, you can actually be sick with the cone too. Oh, that's unfortunate. I know. That's really <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> You're just being so mean to Cashew, but you know, I I don't want to say anything because. Um, uh, so right now. Leave my cat alone. 
<laughs> They're sick again, so I can take them to the vet clinic. Um, this is not a super visual sickness until something else happens. Oh, so, what's this something else? Let's try this. It's gonna show us. Do oh. you have any more questions we need to answer? Mm. What's Cashew doing? I think we've answered a lot of uh -oh. these. Cashew, oh, what are you doing, oh, Cashew? Cashew no. Oh no, what's happening? Oh, whoa, God. whoa, what's this? So... <laughs> I don't know, I, this is one of those like weird, like, this is really cool, but also really um So, we have a sickness called Golden Poop, which is actually caused by that poop randomizer. That's actually the name. Yeah. It's Golden, golden poop. poop. There's there's also Rainbow Poop, but we're, we'll let Well, we saw, we saw Rainbow Poop as one of the, the sicknesses yep. when we were in the vet. So... Golden poop, what happens, and actually we got really lucky here. Um, your oh, pet wow. starts pooping gold. Um, so what do we do with this poop? Well, I mean, usually you throw poop Take away. Okay, so we can just throw away the poop, right? But this is golden poop. Take it up. Okay, so, and there's also a gold bar. Yes, so very rarely when your pet has golden poop, they uh, will poop a gold bar out. And as you can imagine, the gold bar is worth a lot of money. Okay. Emery, I know you covered this already, but there's still a lot of questions mm -hmm. on uh, how many illnesses are yeah. available and how often they get it. Um, so your pet will get sick every few sim days. Mm -hmm. There's at least 20 different illnesses, and illnesses are basically combinations of different symptoms. So you okay. could have like red nose, icy fur, but, golden poop, rainbow but poop. But having like rainbow poop and red nose versus red nose and icy fur are yep. two different sicknesses. Mm -hmm. okay. And they're all called different things, and it's your job as a vet to identify what they are. Okay. Um, so I just picked up my... Your poop. My and nuggets, your gold bar. Cashew's nuggets. <laughs> oh. So I can actually sell this for 50 small which is a pretty good deal oh. for golden poop. <laughs> okay. Sure. The gold bar, once again, this is very rare. I think it's like a 5% chance whenever your pet has golden poo. Okay. Sells for 6,006 simoleons, which is a lot of simoleons. Uh, that's, yeah. I mean, that's it's for. like the slight upside to your pet being that sick. Well, oh, what you're doing is you're trying to be able to pay for treating pay them. For treatment. Yeah. That yeah. easily pays for his treatment. Yeah. You went yeah. with the cheaper option, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, but Emery's all about money. <laughs> Yeah, also, if you Disney. turn 6,006 upside down, you put in a mirror, it spells poop. <laughs> sure. Okay. Fun, fun fact, guys. Fun fact. Fun fact. Right there. That's some insight into why You can see time. how much thought we put into, like, pricing things sometimes. Like real okay, so um, now we have these treats. Can we do the, the age down treat on our uh, cat here? On your on cat? Sammy? Yeah. On Sammy. Sammy's right there next to you outside. Oh. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> All right, so... Which one's aged down? Okay. Let's give her a vet treat. Aged down. Okay. Yeah, we could also give your pet, you know. <laughs> Why don't we just go with the aged down? <laughs> You're no fun. Well, no, I can do the other one later, but I want... You know, people I want a cute excited. little kitten, people, okay? People were excited about forever puppies. Forever puppies. He's so cute. I'm sorry, I love gonna my kitty. It's going to get cuter. Hey, we... Wait for it. <sighs> Can you zoom in? Oh, oh, yes. Sammy's evolving. <laughs> She's like de evolving, de -evolving. though, because this yeah. is the age down one. Yeah, this is the age down one. This takes some time because. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should speed it up. Da, 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 da. Oh. And. I'm trying to grab this question. Ken! Oh my goodness. Oh, so oh now she's so cute. So do you pets oh get goodness. sick from eating habits? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh. Okay. I, I just had to see that. Thank you. <laughs> you can even back up. It's sure. Must be traumatic for the vet. <laughs> <laughs> um, give vet treat again. Do you have to do it through the give vet yes. treat? Okay. So, so now there's age up treat. Yep. You can't age them down anymore. So, that's why. Yes, yeah, so if you age something down like that, they cease to exist, which is why we didn't do that. Why did I go upstairs? Because <laughs> you, you were going to the computer. computer. Obviously. Oh, yeah, it's so no. cute. Look at this. Oh. Look, I'm okay. a friend of the animals. It's happening. Oh, it's so cute. So. <laughs> we do this so that you have time to actually like get close to your pet as they age up, because they can age up naturally. They, um, yeah, they they will age up and down. Uh, not down. Oh, God, no. <laughs> they um, will age up naturally. Yep. But, you know, if you really... 
You know, you really want your Birthday pet as balloons. a kitten or, I mean, maybe you got a stray that was an adult and you want to have mm -hmm. time with them as a kitten. This yeah. would be a great way to take that time with them. Yeah. So. Do you ever give your cat balloons on his birthday? No. <laughs> I think I my cat would freak out. My my Sammy is very skittish. So if anyone walks near her, here, near her, she runs into like another room. Like she is scared of my dad's feet. It's kind of funny. Okay. But. Simmer Aaron asks, will there be pre-made vet clinics or will you have to build one? So there is the one hospital, uh, mm -hmm. Brindleton Hospital, which is already placed in the world. And then there is a second vet clinic that is part of, if you go into your gallery, there are some pre-made lots that you can place down anywhere you want. And there is one vet clinic through there. I do not remember what it's called. What about the one on the video? I believe the video one is the one that is in. So the video the one world. is actually a modified version of the Brindleton Hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think they call it what, like the Paw Paws. Yeah. Paw so if that's I not available, we'll try to put it up on the gallery. Yeah, we can. So um, we can ask to put that up mm -hmm. with any other Sims that we put, we load up the first day. It's pretty common for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I mean, we'll have to see about that. <laughs> Ooh, Rebecca's making promises. No, I. It's, I make no promises. There's no promises about us uploading. It's kind of um, our video team, you know, does special things so mm -hmm. that they can get oh, really good true. videos. So sometimes they have to do a little extra work to make mm -hmm. it a playable lot. Um, Should we talk about I, that? I think Graham talked about that in one. Yeah, of the other he did he, actually because he, he was. Out. Oh. There's the really cute mailbox. So you yes. unlock this at like level. Sorry, I got one or it's, two. cuteness. I'm sorry. This whole pack is just filled with cuteness, and it's really easy to get distracted. Is um, the cat's face? Is that the cat or no, the dog? No, this is a dog one? one. No, no, no. Let's scroll back. Oh, I need to. Oh, oh, really, like, <laughs> oh, the cat. Oh, the cat. In the game. Uh, <laughs> I should not make stupid faces on the video. <laughs> 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 That, yeah, that that's something like my real cat, because she's just like, what are you doing? It's cinematic mode over there. You just turned me from a kitten back into a cat. I must leave. Okay, so you were showing us the I was showing <laughs> other cute things. Sorry. Now we're getting distracted by cuteness. Um, so it's coming all different kinds of breeds. So do you get stuff. pick one or the other, or do you get both? You get both. both. You get both. And I think you get them at the same level so that... No matter whether you're a cat person or a dog person, mm -hmm. you get to pick. Yep. And then there's also this like really cute decal. Raise your paws. Oh, it's, so oh cute. it's itty bitty. You can make it bigger. You can also make it bigger. That's true. Look at it. You can make it small now. <laughs> oh. Uh, fun fact that a lot of people didn't know about decals. You can put them on windows. <gasps> so. That's pretty cute. If you actually want to like decorate like all over the place, you can totally do this. Did you, oh, did you I make think, some yeah. text for us? You might have actually yeah. written the text for the small decals. You Raise did. your paws. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a C That was pretty cute. Oh. <laughs> what? what? It's it's not as good as Queen Bay window. Yeah, that one's actually pretty good. I have respect <laughs> for, like, bad puns. <laughs> I I cringe at bad puns, so. That's because you don't know how to have fun, Rebecca. <sighs> um, Sim Guru Chibi likes to tease me about that all the time on Twitter. Um, she will put up as many bad puns as she can and then tag me in a tweet. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And uh, I don't know. I know some of our simmers will uh, jump in on that train. Are there any other questions that we need answered? Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Pretty uh, good. Like. The, I mean, the big, other big question is can you prevent pets from getting sick often? Like, is there a way to keep them healthier for longer? Well, um, you can do checkups, right? You can do checkups to keep checking up on them, but you can also keep feeding them wellness treats to kind of bolster their immune system as well. Okay. And then the preventative shot too, right? Yes. When they do checkups. So when you get a preventative shot, it'll prevent sicknesses for the next couple of sim days. So if you want to keep your pet from getting sick, go to the vet often, get them checkups. And, and is uh, that something that'll pop up in that, that panel? Um, so when you... Because we had the cone of shame or the the treatment, mm -hmm. is that one that'll pop up or is it just the treatment? So when you actually sign in at that check-in podium, if your pet isn't actually sick, you can sign them in for a checkup instead of carrying okay. a sickness. Okay, that's cool. Um, you can nice. also once again sign your pet in for spaying and neutering um, in case that's what you want to do to your pet. Yeah, if, I mean, you know, you have a chance of getting puppies and kittens otherwise, but that's up to you whether that's worth it. Yeah, and once again, you can place like everything from the vet clinic on your home lot right. and, you know, do your own veterinary science. So like I could place D. Oh, this is the budget version. 
There's a number of room on this lot. Jeez. Well, you, that's just because you were running into a door. Yeah. Uh oh, that's the basement. Oh, the <laughs> I don't know that I want our uh, vet clinic stuff in the basement. That yeah, seems like, a little shady. I could go back into live mode here and use the surgery machine to I spay or neuter. neuter. Um, and then you can pick which pet that you want to spay or neuter. Well, you mm. Sammy, go for it. I feel like we've talked right. about it enough where we should show it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I'm gonna grab a man. question from Twitter. My bad. Sorry. Blame My Steve. bad. Blame what ha what happened? What did we do? Nothing. Nothing. So Nothing. not spaying and or neutering. I'm uh, editing some stuff. <laughs> and now she's got the kind Shannon McNice nice yeah. asks, no, "Can you bring your pet to the clinic to give birth, or do you have to give birth at home?" You can give birth actually on any lot, but there's no special bonus for giving birth at the vet clinic. There's no interactions or anything for yeah. that. Okay. Um, so Sammy has been spayed. Bye. Through the ma magic of modern medicine, <laughs> you can actually unspay oh, no. or unneuter pets in our okay, game. Okay, sure, go for um, it. This is a very advanced machine. You're just torturing my poor cat. Oh, no, we're, you know, tying the knot back together. <laughs> oh, I... oh, the webcam's gone? Yeah, yeah, Oh, the webcam's gone? I'm trying to do work over here. Well, see, now they don't have to look at us. Now we can just, like, do what we were what is, doing oh. off camera. Now we can do... Now I can scratch okay. my nose more. <laughs> I still put down the budget version. Uh, right? There's yeah. your request to show the second floor of the house. Oh, okay. No. 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 They, they might not be in here. No. That, <laughs> just some uh, very. We give you a little glimpse. Hey, we did not. We didn't like it's sit teaser, through everything. Teaser. 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 Why are you asleep? Um, because I'm tired from working at the vet clinic. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's not our fault. This is part of the, the world. I have a good question. Uh, oh. Jorge Wells 8 says, do you build a relationship with your pet that attend, that you attend at the clinic? I don't know if you actually, you, well, let, I don't, let's go see. I don't um, know if you build relationships, relationships with the pets, but you do no. build relationships with your employees and patients. Actually, it looks no, like you did. No, that is one of the yeah. pets. Yeah. So you do build a little bit. But definitely the the owners of the pets, because Katarina's up there. Oh, yeah, because she's been back so often. I mean, it it depends on what you do. You can always talk with mm -hmm. them before and after yeah. the thing. You can definitely, the, uh... to get better pets at manner, you can greet them, or you can, like, banter about the pet a little bit and then okay. greet them. Yeah, so, so you can choose to make friends. Yeah. Um, it may not happen automatically. You may just be very focused on your job, mm -hmm. but, you know, if you that. talk to them... You can. Okay. Yeah. Anything else that we should be talking about? We're off camera now, so now they can't see us. You're no, no, we're back on camera. What? <laughs> the whole time. Scratch my nose on camera. Oh. Oh, no. What is... Oh, oh. oh. I guess. So... Come on, come Wait, on. what are we missing? I you don't think that we've missed we a lot of that. We gotta do this one. Okay, wait. Um, on screen. No, no, I, I have to do. be in, in front. No, is she? Is she, okay. she I did. I, wasn't uh, I think she's in front. Should we so, call about them, <laughs> so for those that don't know, Platinum Summer made a bingo chart for us uh, oh for goodness. this live stream, and Sim Guru stuff has been keeping track of it. But I think there's more on there that we have done than yeah, what is she saying? Yeah, we've been bad at tracking, but we like, do. Because I'm pretty sure we've said adorable But a few in times. order to finish, we do need to have one of you guys do a funny I move. I think I have done enough funny moves. Like, so, I did the hand wavy magic and everything, so, so Emery, I think we're okay. Emery, show us your funny moves. <laughs> I mean, I did scratch my nose at some point. Okay. So, so we bingo. at least have a, a one line. Oh, is that bingo. the only one we had left? No, I mean, so it depends on how you play this bingo. Are you playing it, you know, like a regular bingo where you just have to get a single line, or are you trying to get the whole I think board? Trying to get the whole thing. Oh, the whole board. Oh. I don't know. We did paw missing. reference with the the raise your paws. You have to say I'm so excited. I don't pay bingo that way. Okay, no. I'll show it one more time. <laughs> That's why I said it. It depends. Is this backwards. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. No, it Wait, shouldn't well, be. No, it should be fine. It should be fine. But good. it's also if you go find mm. Platinum Simmer on Twitter, I think this they posted this. <laughs> Platinum simmers. I got long okay. arms. Sorry if I'm saying so. It wrong. We're missing some. We already had technical difficulties because the camera turned off. <laughs> yeah, we did. But I, did I you marked. Just say it or I marked that as blame Steve. Whoa. Someone called you out for not. Yeah, yeah, we did. So we've definitely, we've definitely done this paw reference. Um, 
But anyways, <laughs> that's what we've been doing, and I've been saying oh, random things. Oh, and I think someone said that's something about our out. cool shirt. So I have this fancy cat vet clinic. And I'm a and dog person, so I have the so dog, which is the bright shirt. This was this was it's made by uh, Sim Guru Emery. He made these shirts so that we could have special shirts on stream. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. Wait, who made that? Emery. Emery. He just made them and he... Uh... How many more are you going to make? <laughs> I only I made... Don't understand. I, I made one of He's each. He's multi-talented. <laughs> I'm positive that uh, everybody... Positive. positive. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bingo thing? <laughs> we, already, we already have that marked oh, okay. off. What, sorry, what were you actually saying? You're pretty I was, positive. I was going to but... say, I'm pretty sure everybody in chat wanted these shirts. Uh, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> we can... We'll look into things. I, I, we'll figure I, yeah. something yeah. out. You should, you should harass him, Guru Lindsay. Ooh. Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, no harassing. Oh, okay. Just you should politely, politely, politely request, request, request suggest or suggest that these lovely shirts maybe, would be good. Maybe we'll do like a giveaway or something. Yeah, we, yeah, we could we could grab a few more, maybe. All right. I I don't, no promises. Covers, sorry. I, I think that covers but, most of the questions that we can cover for this stream. Mm-hmm. Um Okay. If we didn't cover anything, we'll, we'll all have another one. Did Amanda yeah. appear in frame? So there is, she did. There, okay. the next live stream is next week, Thursday, 11 one o'clock, week. same time as this, and it will feature Sim Guru Romeo and Sim Guru JM. Uh, is probably Grant. So, yeah, uh, probably, probably Grant, right. um, so and they amigos. will show off the world and a lot of our features with our pets. So yes. our socialization, mm-hmm. our and a lot of the core stuff. So you'll get to see some pretty cute and stuff. And probably more build and mm-hmm. beds. <laughs> yes, since since Sim Drake, <laughs> you know, wants to hold that off for next She's week. She's banned us from showing you cool <laughs> things. <laughs> no, she just wants to make sure that everybody comes next week because it's going to be a pretty cool week. It, it's think. actually going to be really cool. Like, we showed you a lot like, of stuff at the vet clinic, but this pack has so much more to offer. And the and the world is just so amazing yeah. and gorgeous. So I think yeah, that, that JM really that wants teaser, to show that I... off. Yep. JM worked on all of the world, so yep. he he will gladly show off every piece mm-hmm. of it. I'm sure. I don't know how long they'll uh, be showing that off, considering last time it was a very long stream. That was a very long stream. Amanda, we're letting them back on. Gee. I know. <laughs> Okay. So thanks for so, joining us yeah. today. Yep. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Did you cut the camera? <laughs> no, those cameras no. are going. <laughs> Wait, do you Is there anything else waiting? we had to say? No. no because... What are you doing? Oh, oh. <laughs> he said keep waiting. <laughs> what? Oh, God, forget what? it. You guys are done.